What is happening folks? Son of Beast here and we are back for the last game matchup of the NBA 2K21. Last time it was the New Orleans Pelicans versus against the New York Knicks and Knicks just destroyed and crushed over Zion Williamson's team. Just turned out amazing that no one has seen before. So that was amazing to see the Knicks win at that home game without the Season 1's win facing against the Spurs. So that was a, just a better uh, example of what they have done before. Only two wins in the way um, at OKC and at Cleveland. So that turned out to be just fantastic than anybody else that just did much better than before. So it looks like it's now the end of the lineup for the uh, matchups in Season 5. And right now, we are about to be seeing the last matchup. It's Chicago Bulls facing against Detroit Pistons. And totally that before, Blake Griffin is not on here at this moment. So it looks like the one that we are just going to put a substitution in is I'm going to put Jeremy Grant in for the starting lineups for, for this part on 83. Not just too much to go from here, but this it's not quite enough to go from uh, each example that we were taking a look at each over, um, overrating of the team players that we were seeing. So this time, I'm going to go ahead and try to figure out which team can, do, can I do. Hmm. It's too much to go for it, but statement's alright. And let's do the same thing, just like Detroit Pistons. Well, I'll make them gray. Not that much better, and after all. So here are the starting lineups. Starting off with the Bulls, we have Tomas Staransky, Zach Levine, Patrick Williams, Laurie Markkinen, then Thaddeus Young on the left. And on Detroit Pistons side, we have his Delon Wright, Frank Jackson, Shadik Bay, Jeremy Grant, and Mason Plumley. Only two players on each on each team, Jeremy Grant and Mason Plumley, were just gotten into a little while of changeover into the two Detroit Pistons. One from Mason Plumley from Denver Nuggets to this team, and Grant. Um, I think we. I think. Uh, I think uh, this team too. Uh, the Nuggets. We're not sure. Anyways, time to get this settled up on the last matchup before the playoffs comes in handy. And 2021 NBA 2K League Draft will be the only part that we are looking for. I'm not going to be any of a contest at this point, so I'm sorry. There's nothing else to choose from here. And the last rest of the lineups I will be is Kobe White, Carter Jr., Gafford, Valentine, Porter, Temple, Diancono, and Hutchinson. That is that is on the left. And on the right we have is we have is Jackson, Dennis Smith Jr., Duan Boya, Lee, then Stewart. Not too much here, but the rest of it down the about this section here will uh, they will tell you what will look like. And it looks like the last game will be on its way to Detroit. Let's see what we can do to check out the, to check out the exciting game. And here they are, they're coming in, in this, uh, in this part of the court. Now they're dressed up, ready to get things in action. And then one of the most importantly that we are looking for is some, uh, some great plays that we went to. Um, we went to Chicago, and most importantly, the uh, the America America's best seller of the brand company of the vehicles was Henry Ford. He made this kind of design in Detroit. That was for cars and for truck in Kentucky. Let's hear. Let's have a look for Larry Marketing. Just a great season and um, for 17.9, but last five games wasn't enough. 13.2 and 47% of an effort strategy. Just now enough to go for this for the uh, win to give it a try. So here's a uh, so here it is. Zach Levine is right down there. Also with uh, Young as well, and we're definitely taking a look. One of each player who's going to have to uh, score the most baskets right at this point. I'm going to go ahead and turn it up to 27 at this point. And we're coming down the back half of the season. Back half of the season after the All Star. Um, I will not forget to do that one. So uh, let me know. 
if I, if I need to make that video. Because I did this one last year for 2020, but I gotta do it this year. Here we go, final game of the matchup. Saransky, pass back to Williams after they won the tip off. Fueled up and ready to go. Here's Saransky. First shot coming in, and it's good. That will be the first bucket for tonight. Saransky's got the game going. Saransky has got the first two pointers this game. And it's right with the ball for Detroit. Here's the commentators: Kevin Harling, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber. To the left side wing. Left side wing is Grant. Goes over Young. Drops it in, and that'll be the first two bucket for for Grant. That's tied. This game still tied up, two two. This game is tied up. Not still. Tadaransky looking for Williams. Williams is up the shot, and it's no good. Plumlee will take the first rebound. Jackson going for two. And it's Levine with the rebound. Here in the first, though. Here in the first, Lou looking for Levine's first part of the bucket after, uh, after he's trying to go for the All-Star of his year. Part of his season. Just enough to go for it here. Five on the clock. Shot for Williams goes up, and that's a miss from from uh, from, from, the, from the Bulls. Here's David Aldridge on the sideline. Earlier I spoke with Dwayne Casey. Coach was saying that he feels Zach Levine is still underrated as a star in this league. Coach said when Levine gets going, there's just no way to stop him. He's one of the most natural scoring threats in the league. They certainly will respect Levine's explosive offense tonight, guys. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. We're back on the court, and another miss comes up for the Bulls. Here's Jackson coming in on two on three on one. Grant takes the dunk right on the other end. So their team's got the first uh, first assist, and now that's going to be uh, that's going to be Jackson that will be picking up his first assist, and a steal comes up by Bay. Coming up, number two pointer, and here's Sadoransky after putting a loss against Utah, only 13 points, not enough to go for the rebound. Right against, right against, right goes over to uh, Young. Williams pass back to Young. Scans up, shoots the bucket, and that'll be the first two. Goal, field goals for this percentage, 60 to 40. Goals having a lot of hard time to go right from left on the court and Pistons from right to left. Outside Jackson. Jackson coming in from the middle. He feeds up to Grant. The shot. Oh, it's a dunk. That's two dunks in the row for Grant. That will be six points in the game. Kobe White's coming in for the substitution. And the first foul is going to go on Mason Plumlee, his first personal. Sadoransky just didn't have that momentum while helping out with Zach Levine. He's just a little bit on, on and off the court. He might be he might be doing okay, but the defenders, like, they're like grabbing him out. Well, all the Detroit Pistons fans, we'd like to say thank you to the player of Blake Griffin. He will now be playing with the Brooklyn Nets. That is right. They'll be playing with the Brooklyn Nets. Glad to see the Brooklyn Nets make a win over the Wizards. But for the but for the Sixers, they beat against Stephen Curry's team. Just enough to get through in and out on the on the wing, the middle, and the drive. Last shot for Sadorensky. Sadoransky's shot's good. That'll be, that'll be another two-pointer. Four points. And it's right with the ball. So Kobe White's game ready to prep things off the court. Grant comes in the outside. Right, moving along. Goes over to Plumley. Shot fake. Plumley! Oh, the shot is good. Zach Levine misses the dunk on its on the, uh, timing that turned out bad. So that's going to be Plumley with one shot left. And now few players are coming up on the court. Now we got Kobe White, Valentine, Young, and Carter Jr. And the Pistons, only Jackson subs out on the court. And Jared Jackson comes in. Denzel Valentine comes in for Williams. And it's Kobe White in for Sadoransky. 
with that dunk, I can't believe that. It, it happened the same thing, just like Utah Jazz uh, against the Sixers, when Donovan Mitchell dunked it, and he just counted it. How do you know how uh, Donovan Mitchell does that anyway? He puts a dunk right over on a player, on Joel Embiid. That was turned out crazy like it happened before. I was never expecting this was going to happen again. Oh, uh, fadeaway. Oh, the shot is good. Nice shot for Grant. Almost turned out to be an automatic miss for a moment for Detroit. Now they got it back. Here's Kobe White. First shot. Young will take a rebound. Chooses another opposition. He chose to Valentine. Shot is up, and it's short. Jared Jackson with the first personal foul on Detroit. Pistons. Just only a couple shots from uh, from uh, the Chicago Bulls that missed out on its range shot. But only the segment that turns out was Thaddeus Young. Not just quite enough to get through the, uh, from the outside range to try to uh, shoot his best career of the NBA. Honest, you know, witnessing his journey to greatness all the while he remains. First shot comes in, his position. and now the new changes are coming on. Levine, Valentine, and Young. Not just his partner, but a fan. And yeah, third quarter, and Valentine will stay on the court. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Here's another look for Detroit. For Young. Leaves with Junior Jackson, Dumbrell. I forgot what the last player is, but it was too late. Good job on the both, and that will be 13 to 10. Three minutes to go. Pistons leading by three. Pistons lead by three. Hope you guys make your selections at the March Madness bracket for the NCAA's men's basketball. Hopefully, this. Uh, hopefully, you guys make a perfect bracket. Some of you did not. Um, some of you just came up short with an upsetting team that puts up a win right at this point. Gonna be one at that point. None of you don't want the upsetting teams. A lot of contact going on. Jackson with a second personal foul. Third team foul on Detroit Pistons. Someone who forces contact on his way up. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Now the first trip to the line will be Kobe. I'm sorry, that's not Kobe. Porter. Valentine made two free throws. Porter Jr. Get ready to spam things up. First throw calls in. New change here. Grant comes back on the court. Jackson has sucked out. And the Pistons and, uh, he has two fouls to give. Be careful. And the second free throw falls in. Porter has got first. Two buckets for tonight. Two thirty-three, fifteen to twelve is your score. Now Smith and coming around and foul on Porter. First personal, second team foul on Chicago. Carter Jr. last ten games turning out just quite enough to go for a number of rebounds at that point. Is his rebounding, and as you can see, he's been in peak form. This last stretch, unbelievable tenacity going to the glass. It's been reflected in that statue. First two shots for an exchange for Bulls. Didn't want to take a dribble, He's off on the but he missed. And here in the early going, missed free throws. Start so Valentine is, uh, is checked out, and Temple is checked in. And Temple is checked in. Two players. Grant and Darboto and Stewart right there. And they make some changes on the on the key on the um, point guarding. And he sinks the second. He sinks the second. The Only one free throw to give. And intelligent. Smith Jr. 223 left. Kobe White picking another run. Porter rolls up to Galford. Now they move around the temple. Short. Not enough to go for a rebound, but it's Smith Jr. with the ball. Smith, Smith Jr. takes a sink, and that will be another two-pointer of the game. Just two minutes in the first quarter. Here comes Porter, goes to three. Shots, sinks it in. 
last time they faced this club, rebounding was their big advantage. And here's Lee. Here's Lee oh, trying to go for our ankle break, but it's wound up, up too late. Stewart outside. Missed the three, three, three point range. Bulls trail by three. Bulls trail by three. He's doing another one again. Here is Porter. Here's Gafford coming in. They didn't want to take a risk of it. He goes to Gabby, Kobe White. Lee with the steal. Lee with, takes a seal. That's two turnovers for the Chicago. 11 feet away, and it's no good. 1.15 remaining in the first quarter. Now we got Temple outside. I have to figure it out what to do next. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Try to pick it up. Out to Carter. Over Carter Stewart. over Stewie. And it doesn't go for it. Another shooting. The other way. And now he turns around the other way. Just 53 seconds to go. 18 to 15 still to score. Lee with three. Nothing happened. Bulls trail by three. Bulls trail by three. And here comes Porter Jr. Drives it up. Shots off, and it's missed. Lee with the rebound. No, this is not an exciting game. This is just a start. 30 seconds. Good ball movement here for Detroit Pistons to go for another pass. And here's Stewart's first shot's good. That's an assist by Smith Jr. First assist of the game. Just under 20 seconds to left to play in the action. Porter coming in around. Porter kicks to White. Kobe White for three. See, he now has the first three pointer of the game. 10 seconds to play. Smith Jr. trying to make another rollout. Stewart up. Good. And that will be another two pointer for the Pistons. And Stewart, the second shot. Oh, take a buzz beater, and Kobe White finished the layup. That will be the end of the first quarter. 22 to 20 is the score. Second quarter will be on its way next. We'll be back right after this. Please will take a closer look at Zach Levine and he's advantage. You know, we should have energy. We should be out playing the other team, like I said, just competitive wise. We don't have all the models the other teams have. We should have energy, you know, young, hungry dudes that are ready to compete and show what they have in this league. And um, we shouldn't be tired out there. We should be the most conditioned team. We should be running people up and down. <laughs> Frank trying to turn their youthful exuberance into a weapon. So we're ready to start. Let's get on to the second quarter. Kobe White only got five points in the game. That'll be, that'll be the first three-pointer of the game. Smith Jr. covered by White, and it's White over the back of the of the uh, of the board, and that'll be leave another shot. They were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Kobe White trying to mess at the defender. Temple from the corner. So for Chicago. Grant rebounds the ball as there is no shot coming in for the number team. Ah, oh, so close with the goaltending, but it looks like uh, we'll. Williams got a point, got a first rebound. He passed to Markin. Markin it. Pass to Markin in. Shoots it up. Layup was loose. And that'll be the first miss for Markin. And, and if the dunk goes on and grit. That's, that's three in a row. What a play. 26 to 20 is his score. No three pointers for Detroit. Pass the, pass the Temple. Kobe White bounce pass to Markinen. Here's Markinen. Markinen up. And the Bulls missed out another shot for Markinen to pick up another run. Feeds it to Drew Boyd. Excellent D for Markinen. First rebound for him. Gaffer coming into the paint. Oh, it's blocked by Grant. Well, the Bulls have a new front office. Branching out from the Nuggets Ranger us the new team president, given Denver's success identifying and developing young talent with the win percentage that's climbed year after year, there is at least some optimism that the Bulls will be able to build a similar and sustainable winning program. Guys? And it's foul going on to Mboyo. Her first personal foul on Detroit. 
Markkinen just only missed out two shots, but he's and now this is his chance to go to the free throw line to shoot two. Just under five minutes to go from this second quarter of the first half. In a preseason game, we play the Dallas Mavericks. Both teams went up and down the court. Let me tell you about the last season that happened already. And that's when I knew this was a little bit... Uh, I don't, I'm not sure what they played the last game. Oh, it was the Phoenix Suns. Yes. Yes, that, that's what I was thinking. So they played last season against the Suns, and they lost the game and couldn't be able to win it again. That turned out to be very horrible. That never have done it before. Devin Booker, other teams. Wow. I'm just, I'm just not crazy about it. I'm not crazy about it, man. And the shot for Marketing second is good. First two pointer comes in for on the good time. Now we go to the other way. Grant against Marketing. Jackson against Levine. Alley-oop and success! Grant just got another one and great pass here for Jackson. Studying the table. A lot of technology is happening around the court. Try to go for the pass. Look it open. Pass up to Young. Moves up to shoot over Plumlee and that is good. Young picks up his number, number two pointer. Now he deep. And so it's right. Sorry, I was not seeing you in here, but Donoransky stay on the defender. Hay against Valentine. Fade away up, and it's no good. It comes up short. Donoransky tried to go for two on one, but it was off the target. Not, not in time. Marketing back to Valentine. Shot is shot up. Not in time. That will be Bay with the rebound. 28 to 24 is the score. Hey, get back on here. Plumley, who counts that bucket, and that will be a number two pointer. A lot of defensive, defensive players are coming and breaking down. Turn out to be breaking bad, at least. <laughs> Yeah, I understand that one here, too. Marketing on number two, and it's no good. Pistons lead by six. Pistons lead by six. On the wing, Jackson. Jackson in the corner. No threes yet. And it's off. Bulls ball. Takes it first turnover for the Pistons. Took a look at the block. That was Jeremy Grant. What a play this turned out to be. A best defenseman on the game. Before the drive was up. Just enough to go for the first quarter. A great start for Grant. Just 3.15 left. Bulls trail by six. Sadaransky trying to go for another look. Now he passed it to Levine. Got to change another one. Here's the pass to Young. He shoots up, and that's good. Young as Levine, but he makes the assist. Just enough to go for that point, all right? Think about it, that is show. He could be a I'm not trying to mess on them. Side. He's just a great disruptor on defense. Make sure you check your brackets here if you got it right in the second round. But the Sweet 16 will be on its way shortly. Uh, this week coming in Saturday before Ely 8 and the final four before heading into the national championship of the basketball. Great play, Zach Levine on the roll. And now he will take another good look on the call. Passes over to Lee in the corner. To right. Pass to Jackson for three. Can it be it? No. No freeze yet. And they're still leaving up empty. Valentine in the middle. Two minutes to play in the first half. Carter dishes to Valentine. This over to Sadoransky. Sadoransky with a drive, and it's good. He hits another one. Now they got it tied up by 30. Now it passed to Bay. Screen on Plumley. Oh, oh, and the ball was knocked off loose. 
past was being were being tough and lost. And the upcoming games coming up will be the at, at Pacers March 24th, as has just passed. But the next one will be the Wizards for for the Detroit Pistons. If I said it correct, I don't know. Maybe this is what happens that time. And you just hope they are rested and Pass is coming in along that way. Young pass back to Valentine. Tremendous challenge. Goes back to Young. No idea what he's he doing. He has nothing to see here. Levine trying to get open his trying to get the shot, but it's no good. One time to go. We might be seeing some overtime. I'm not sure if it's gonna happen for the fifth time in a row. Just under a minute. And he's up and flows it in. One for three from the field. One for three for the field. That turned out fantastic. Levine trying to mess it up. Levine to Sadoransky. Let's try some motion. He finds Valentine. Losing the ball, but it's not. He has that ball in. Great pass by Sadoransky. Another assist. Second point bucket for uh, for Valentine. 35 seconds, double screen coming in play. Shots up, shots good! Valentine takes his, um, his first foul. And we're talking about Josh Jackson here, not Jalen Jackson. But this, this shot, that was very good for, uh, for the offensive player to reach into the paint. And now one shot remains for Jackson and new changes for the Bulls and Pistons with just 30.9 seconds. We'll see if he makes one in. Shots good. Yeah, and the, the versatility of Jackson's game. He's a super confident. Doing it again. Black Zach Levine. the potential to be a star. Now, Zach Levine passed to Kobe White. Yeah, White to Porter. Against Utah. Yeah, energy level in that he game. passed back to Kobe White. And now he comes in to shoot. And it's missed out. Kobe White hits the first shot, but it's missed off again. Oh, Jackson's shot went too late. Oh, he messed it up. No rebound, no shot. That's the end. So that means 35 to 32. Pistons in the lead by three. It's time to go to the court side as we see David Aldridge on the sideline. David, taking yours away. Thanks, Kevin. Zach, a hard-fought first half. What changes have to be made to get a little separation? They're making tough shots. Just trying to stick to our concepts. So we got to come back, make plays, make shots, and, uh, you know, just stay solid. Always a challenge for a young team. Thanks for your time, Zach. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Second half is underway. The final game will not be counted if one of each players could score most. So that means we'll be right back after this halftime show. We are getting ready to start the second half, but the good game that comes for Detroit Pistons was 35 to 32. And good play to see Jeremy Grant on the court. First block of the game, well played. Yep, definitely we're seeing this guy, Jeremy Grant, of 12 points, three rebounds, and just a block. Let's see if he can take two blocks in the row, if he has more to take it up. I don't know who made a block in the, in the um, Chicago Bulls side, but uh, we're not sure what will it be. And here we go, let's get the second half to finish it off the rest. Here's Grant, oh, right on marking it, and fade away up. Battle rebounding, and it's ticked away by by Williams. Let's catch on DA. Oh, nice dunk. Good to hear from you. Now, Zach Levine has become a star, but he knows there's still work to be done. He said, I'm stepping into a leadership role, asking more of myself and giving more each year. You've got to look at your faults. I have to continue to improve my defense. I want to help us make the playoffs. My next step as a player is winning. Back to you. Wow, what a nice dunk for uh, for Grant. Now he gets now he gets another dunk in a row. 14 points. Williams tried to step it along. 
Levine bounce pass to Young. Here's Young. Young, no choice, but he missed. Detroit leading by three. Detroit leads by three. Comes in the wave. Jackson for three. There it is. The first three for the Pistons. And we had waited for a long time to see which three-pointer players had the right choice to go for the three. Shots good for Zach Levine. Plumlee with the foul. Free throw coming up. So we'll see Zach Levine go to the line here. He will go to the line to shoot one at that point. Mason Plumley wasn't trying to look out to see which player has done best. One shot for Levine. Around 80% on the season. The free throw is good for the Levine. Call games, be in the broadcast to take right now. Kevin, no idea. He has five points in the game. And quite honestly, didn't really now, new changes coming in is Grant for the screen. Finds Grant outside, covered by marketing. Ten to shoot, try to figure it out where to go. Goes with another screen, a jumper off, and it's knocked away. And it's Shadovansky with another rebound. Two. That's the second rebound of the game. Try to help out with the screen, but it's gotten away. Oh, never blocked for Grant. That's two in a row. Here's Bay. Finishes the drive. And now be a second two pointer. Pistons lead by five. Shadovansky try to go for another look. Marking in, pass over to Levine, gets away, but he gets it back. Pass to Sadoransky, Levine with it, front pass. Levine for the arc, no good. Graham takes a, takes a, another, another rebounding of the game. It looks like uh, we some players needs to get some hydration. Oh, what a play for Plumlee! Time out for the Bulls, Chicago. With just 427 remaining. We're definitely getting a little bit of headache going on for each player that so got hurt. Not picking up the pace here, but it's much more that we are looking for. We got some new changes here. Carter Jr. comes in for Young. For Young. Harry Gennacono for Sarevetsky. And Levine coming in. Wow! He put a dunk in to finish that one. And he was saying, nope, I think I could do this. Yeah, you know what he was going to do. He was going to try to cut in the middle and then take the dunk. Wow. What a play here. Now this turned out to be just enough to get closer to the to even up the score. Oregonot covers up White. Wright finds Grant. Grant takes another bucket in. Assist by Wright. Now they're up by seven for Detroit. And Levine doing another, doing another crazy layup to finish the drive. And that will be nine points. Not going too cold or too hot. Wright passes up to Grant. Back to Wright. Arthur Dianco trying to go for the seal. Grant with another dunk. Great play, enough for another assist. Another one, two, two assists for Wright. Now he passed to Eric, Eric Dunk, Bianco, Bianco no, to Williams. Attacking in the rim and in the paint for Williams, that'll be four points. Only missed two again, but made two shots. And now Pistons turn to take the timeout. We just 301, 48 to 43. We seen something going on, something crazy was about to happen. I have no idea what do we have to expect to see what player we have. Now I'll sub out marketing, and then I'll bring. Um, yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm bringing back Valentine in, sub it out Levine, and then I will uh, sub in this Kobe White. And then Porter. We gotta like, we gotta like push the pace a little bit more. We gotta limit it. We have to do some play for us at this point. So, actually, 
finger rolls. We're just going to do it on audio. That would be a lot more better. And the Pistons, entirely new group now. This is with the new group. Is also changing it up. Valentine's and Vol's changing it up too. Otto Porter Jr. comes in for Williams. Jackson wide in for covers Chicago. up by Porter. Jackson, Jackson goes to lead. Pass to Smith Jr. Cover up by White. Screen on Grant. Fadeaway is up. No good for the number two for the Pistons. And now the Bulls are up by five. Pass up to White. They pass back to Valentine. Valentine passes to Porter. Shoots up. Porter, no good. 225 left. Lee trying to go for another run on the game, and there, and there should be another one. Lee outside. Lee outside, taking a loose in the ball. Jackson for three. The second free pointer for the Pistons is no good. 210 to go. Porter on the outside for three. Just caught off. But it, but it bounced off the rim. No shot made. And Short comes up for Stewart. Carter Jr. with the first foul. Under two minutes. Isaiah Stewart just only got two at this game. But it looks like you're just, he's trying to go for a number two pointer. Take the third bucket of the night. That mascot, I forgot what his name is. Take a break, take a break. Just about two shots to go. Stewart free throw is makes good. the first free throw. And the coach right there, forgot what his name. He missed the second one, but only one free throw for Stewart makes it in. And here is Porter Jr. Just got a little roughed up on Stewart, and now that would be another good defender without the foul call. Stewart with the screen, and that will be a personal foul on Iriot Dianco. One more look here. And that will be, yep, it was Grant. And keep you in front. I think that was him. He took second blocks at this point, or Plumley. I don't know. Detroit shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. Another free throw attempt here. Only personal foul was putting up on the on the necessary run. So Stewart will take two. Bulls kind of getting a little bit upsetting. And he makes only one. And now Grant is checked in. He will be subbing in for Stewart on the run. A little bit of play right there. After you make him missing one, he says, nope, I think I can handle with another two because never mind. I think I will take another one. Now he got six points. In the corner is Lee. Lee, right up. No good. White with the rebound. Bulls trail by seven. Bulls trail by seven. They're trying to figure out another drive. White. Went late. Not just too much to go uncomfortable out there. Lee going for another shot, and it's good. 118 left. First two points looking for another shot to go back in the game for Detroit. He passed to Carter Jr. Carter Jr. to Valentine. Now the screen is up for the Bulls. Valentine with, Valentine with the fadeaway, and it's not in the mark. Great pass. This, this layup will be Grant picking up 20 points of this game. Only five turned out to be a right extendable layup. Nobody was going open. I got to help them out. Back to Porter. The bag goes right to Porter. Carter right side. Carter taking no choice, but he makes that shot. Great pass by Porter. 
about getting comfortable taking these shots. Carter Jr., great job hitting from mid range. Under 30 seconds left, 54 to 45. Smith against White. Trying to go over up, and it's blocked up by Carter Jr. That's the lead. Lee trying to go for Duambia. Duamba missing the shot. A good save here for Grant. He picks it up. The number point, 22. White looking around. Kobe White right up the shot, and it's good before the third quarter comes to an end, just like the first quarter the last time. So that means 56 to 47 is the score for the end of the third quarter. We are ready to prep things up to the final quarter of the game. Don't go anywhere. We are almost done to finish it up. Now it's time to uh, take a look at the seats of the game presented by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And here the assist we're talking about. Great pass for Jackson, and Grant was right down there in the middle, trying to say, trying to go, trying to go high and then down low. He's trying to fill out the next spot if he wants to go for a value. He might give it up. Let's see which period comes out strong for the Pistons. Kobe White lays it up. That will be nine points. And it's Gafford in at the five. Even inside, White is tough to contain, but just around the defense to get the shot. Smith against White. Smith against White. Trying to go for another one, and it seals up. Two turnovers for Detroit, and here comes Gafford. And a beautiful dunk that will be up on the lane. Assist by... I think it was assist by White. Two assists. Uh, yeah. I have two. I have nothing to worry about that, so I'm confused. Oh, trying to mess him up on Kobe White. But that will be Grant with the ball. Now it's Jackson. Plumley with the screen. And it's deflected off. Gafford with the first block. Bucket two. Up and over. Try to go for another saving rebound. Smith Jr. for three. Six and triple. Now they lead by eight. They're trying to control the timing right along. White, roll over to Temple. Pass over to Young. From D3, was off on the rim. And it was wide open already, but it was shot off early. Jackson missing again. Gafford with a second uh, second rebound. Shanovski trying to go up again. Josh Jackson only three points and one assist. Now it's Plumley with another rebound. Plumley's got his eighth rebound here tonight. And it's the finish drive will be Dennis Smith Jr. Timeout next for Chicago. 5 for 14 left. 61 to 51 is your score. Chicago calls timeout. Just a look at the uh, mascot. Um, just officially was just taking a look at it. I do not see the reference here. What we looking for? Hooper. to be worth it. About you? You know, it could be. I think about. Yeah, it's a Hooper. I just said it correct anyway. Uh, that's what I'm just thinking about. Now we're gonna need to make some changes for our offense to go for another look. Yep, let's try it this way. And yes, Temple was with the uh, Nets this time, but he's not here anymore. Thanks to Blake Griffin, about the franchise player. Chicago making some changes. New changing coming in for Daniel Gaffer. Williams comes. That'll be all five players subbed out. Five players checked in. Young, Markin, and Williams, Levine, and Stravinsky still on the court. Last break, Kevin. I got a chance to listen to what Billy Donovan said to his team. Said they played well in certain areas, but the lack of detail to the defensive boards has allowed their opponent too many second chance opportunities. And that, he said, is the difference in this game. You have to get busy on the glass, Kevin. After the reach and foul called on Jeremy Grant, Stradovinsky will take it back. And here Only first foul, and that will be the end of his line. Without the foul call. And young kicks. Young go to left. Zach Levine. Drives it in. Oh, he put it on over Plumley. 
What a nice dunk comes up. Look at this. Look out below. Oh, he just got slammed. No foul on Zach Levine with an offense. Now this is down to 4 for any remaining. 61 to 53 is your score. Bay, fast and wait. Right for three. Good! Bay with the assist. 4.17 to go. Stradovansky passing over to Markkinen. Markkinen trying to go past to Levine. Pass over to Williams. Now goes to Young for three. Missed off again. That will be another huge miss for Chicago Bulls. Jackson, oh, tumps it in. And it's in there just in time. Just a little bad defender here, not going wrong. Well. Offensive sets, they want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need. Now it's Sadarensky with a number two. It's almost automatic. Anything Field goals percentage, 11 to 27, 16 to 29. But the second half just comes out better. Good shooting so far. Right. Three thirty left, 66 to 55. We played just over three and a half. And a bad timing. That will be reaching foul on Williams. First personal foul. Plumlee right from the baseline. Covered up by Young. Goes with one layup, and it's good. They got a lead up for another one for Detroit. Levine trying to go for another look. Coming off a pretty pass. Steps it up. Three pointer. Good. From the deep point range, Zach Levine just keeps it going. Just 305 left. Next timeout is on Pistons. Power timeout called by Detroit. Just enough to get out there again, but it looks like Shadarensky is just like, wow, he's out of gas. Looks like I'm going to go ahead and bring back uh, Aaron Dionk or not. Looks like uh, we're just going to keep it right in this tempo. Not enough to go from here. Now let's check out the player of the game. New Balance player of the game, and this one goes out to Jeremy Grant. And in terms of his shooting, this is just enough to go for another couple dunks. One. Ever see? I mean, he's been. Then it's uh, then it's uh, then it's two, three, four, five, six dunks for Grant. I'm not sure, and only two blocks that I think. So yeah, I think it's two block. Yeah, so two blocks for Jeremy Grant. What a play! Markkinen tried to hold it up, right against Ari Kidalko. I I am confused. Now he takes seven dunks in a row. Grant 24 over Levine 14. Two pointer for Levine. No good. Another rebounding for Plumlee, and this could be another win for. This could be another win for the Pistons if they beat against the team. Nice alley you! Plumlee makes the dunk. Great assist by Bay. Stupendous, Stupendous job here on the run. 72 to 58 is his score. Marginet trying to go for another run. Now he goes with the screen. Comes unlucky, but it's off. No foul called on the Pistons. Now it's now, now turning the other way is right. Two minutes to play in the fourth quarter. Now here's Grant. Here's Grant pass to Plumley. Out of breath here, trying to go for rear energy. Plumley, and yes, he's out of energy at that point. He has to refill. And I think he's done for this game. What a great pass he did. And some rebounds. Shoots from Shoots from 12. Good shot for Young. 10 points, putting the lead over Plumlee, 9 points. In the game. To the right now in a minute and a half, Plumlee dunks it in, bowls on the next timeout. 74 to 60 is your score. Great points at that moment. Looks like they're going to talk this over to go, to go from 2 to, um, I think 2 to 3, we're going to need to figure it out on the offense. So anyway, that will be all that we have to do. 
not good play here on offense. It was tough luck. And we're going to have to finish it off with the series, C point series. Daniel Gafford checked in for Chicago. Now Gafford has checked in for Chicago. D for Zach Levine. Wow! An absolute bombing coming for Levine, and he's like not quitting here. Well, he's not giving up this yet. He's trying. Right, trying to avoid the steal. Trying to get another one, and that would be another good shot. As Grant's got 26 points. Might be turning out to go for MVP, but I'm not sure his team's going to make the playoffs. Now it's right with the foul. He shows no mercy. 111 to go. 76 to 63 is your score. And the shot goes in. For those of you who are sticking around for season six, that means the NBA 2K22 will be coming out next year part of of the seasons of 2021 to 22 on the next NBA season after the playoffs and finals not sure what the date will start but the preseason will ever happen to take it from here 110 remaining and that will be that'll be uh, right on the ball now he passes to Bay against Williams. Now he goes off. Plumlee with the screen. So it's it up. And it's missed. Williams goes for another look here. Another win. Yep, he puts up another win for Wright. Good defensive. Good defense for Wright. Now he streaks it up again to take another rebound. Double man on him. Jackson against Levine. Right outside. 30 seconds to go. Four to shoot. Has no idea what he's going to do. And he uses a glass board to punch them out. Now they lead up by 13. Pistons if he can go back from time to time. Oh! Levine! Another dunk. 19 points. Thirteen seconds to play. Not loose, and good call here, and that'll be the Bulls' ball. Great defense for the Bulls to pick it up. One last change for the Pistons, and that's it. 10.1 to go. Last possession for the Bulls. Levine takes another dunk, and that goes wild. 21 points, not just enough. And that will do it. 78 to 69 is your final score. Detroit Pistons making it back without the last rough season against the Phoenix Suns with a devastation score. And they never felt they had a chance to go for that win to get back in. Now let's catch up on the sideline to David Aldridge. David, this is all yours. Mason Plumley, a lot of points tonight. What was working so well offensively? Well, we're sharing the ball so well. It's fun to watch, I'm sure. But we have possessions where every guy might touch the ball almost twice. So when you get movement like that, it's hard to guard, and it's a fun way to play. You did have the defense on its toes tonight, Mason. Thanks. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, DA. Thank you guys for all tuning in for the Season 5 of the NBA 2K21. We'll stick out with next season for the next newest matchups, including one of the one of the best players on, on a team that has most career points and new players on NBA 2K22. We'll, we'll hope to see that everything is turning out well, but we'll have to find out what will happen if it gets tougher. Well, that's going to be it for today. I am Son of Beast. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe, like me, like, um, like the video, comment, comment to post the suggestions. Also, uh, and follow me on my social media right down here. So thank you for joining with us. I'll see you all next time for the um, for this game of the NBA highlights.
to share some best parts that we see before. Well, that was a great highlight that we are showing us by, but now it's time to go. Thank you for joining with us. Peace out, bitches, for as a while as the NBA 2K21 dial. Hope you all enjoy, and, and the NBA 2K21 says, signing out for now.